last time we were able to uh, learn how to find the image of a vector as well as the pre-image of a vector under the transformation. And in this discussion, we are going to have uh, two important properties of linear transformation. Now, what is a linear transformation? Let V and W be vector spaces, the function T, which maps a vector space V into the vector space W, is a linear transformation of V into W when the two properties below are true for all U and V, which are vectors in V and for any scalar C. Number one, we have the transformation of U plus V is equivalent to the transformation of U plus the transformation of V. You may also read it as the image of the sum of the vectors U and V is equivalent to the sum of the images of the vectors u and v. The image of cu is equivalent to t times the image of the vector u. In example number two, we are asked to verify whether a function p is a linear transformation from r square into r square. Show that the function in example number one is a linear transformation from r square into r square. Mm -hmm. We have t mm -hmm. of the vector v with components v sub 1, v sub 2 is equivalent to this image wherein the first component is v sub 1 minus v sub 2 and the second component being v sub 1 plus 2 times v sub 2. So in order to verify whether the function t is a linear transformation from r square into r square we need two vectors in vector space um, v that is in r square say we will have v whose components are v sub 1 and v sub 2 and u with components u sub 1 and u sub 2 and another number c uh, which is our scalar then Using the properties of vector addition and scalar multiplication, you have the two statements below. Number one, u plus v. We know that the uh, components of u is u1, comma u2. The components of v is v1, comma v2. So the sum u plus v will give us a vector with the first component u1 plus v1 and second component u2 plus v2. So you have t of u plus v, which is equal to t of the vector u1 plus v1 comma u2 plus v2. Now according to the transformation, it should be so that the first component of um, the image would be the first component minus the second component. Hence we will have the quantity u1 plus v1 minus u2 plus v2. And then the second component of the image vector would be the first component plus twice the second component. Hence, we will have the quantity u1 plus v1 plus twice of the quantity u2 plus v2. Hence, for the first component of the image, we will have the quantity u1 minus u2 plus the quantity v1 minus v2, comma. And then for the second component, we will have u1 plus 2u2 plus uh, for the vector v, you have v1 plus 2v2. The u1 minus u2 comma u1 plus 2u2 plus for the vector v, will have v1 minus v2 comma v1 plus 2v2. Notice that uh, the expression, the first expression is simply the image of the vector u and the second expression is simply the image of the vector v. Hence, the transformation of u plus v is equivalent to the transformation of u plus the transformation of v. For number two, we want to prove whether uh, the transformation will satisfy the uh, property on scalar multiplication. So we will have c times u is equivalent to c times the quantity u1 comma u2, which gives us the um, components of the vector cu1 comma cu2. So you have the transformation of c times u which is equivalent to the transformation of the quantity Cu1, comma Cu2, Cu1 minus Cu2. And then for the second component, we will have the first component plus twice of the second component. 
Hence, for the image, we will have CU1 plus 2 CU2. And then, uh, what we can do here is we can uh, factor out the scalar C so that we can come up with a vector with components U1 minus U2, comma U1 plus 2 U2. And as we can see, this expression here is simply the image of the vector U. Since the two properties are satisfied, E is therefore a linear transformation. Theorem 6.1 gives us the properties of linear transformations. Let T be a linear transformation from the vector space V into the vector space W, where U and V are vectors in V, then the properties listed below are true. Number one, the transformation of the zero vector is equal to zero, or that means the image of the zero vector under T is also the zero vector. Number two, the transformation of the additive inverse of the vector V is equivalent to negative times the transformation of the vector V. Number three, the transformation of U minus V is equivalent to the transformation of U minus the transformation of V. In number four, if V is equal to C sub 1 times V sub 1 plus C sub 2 times V sub 2 plus dot 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 until C sub n V sub n, or that means if V is a linear combination of the vectors V1, V2, and V sub n with with um, scalar C sub 1, C sub 2 up to C sub n, then the transformation of the vector D is equal to the transformation of the linear combination. Let D be a function that maps an R cube into an R cube, be a linear transformation such that as to find the image of uh, the vector with components 2, 3, and negative 2. Okay, we will have the vector with components 2, 3, and negative 2. So we want to find the value of C sub 1 times the um, vector that is with components 1, 0, 0, and then C sub 2 times uh, the vector with components 0, 1, 0, plus C sub 3 times the component of the vector, uh, times the vector with components 0, 0, 1. And since we know that uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1 are standard vectors. And hence, the value of C sub 1 is simply 2, the value of C sub 2 is 3, and the value of C sub 3 is simply negative 2. And the next thing is to use theorem uh, 6.1, it's property for of theorem 6.1, to write now the expression for the image of the vector with components 2, 3, and negative 2, which is equivalent to 2 times the image of the first vector plus 3 times the image of the second vector minus 2 times the image of the third vector and the image of the first vector being uh, with components 2, negative 1, 4 and for the vector with components 0, 1, 0 and the image is actually uh, this vector and this one for 0, 0, 1 we will have this image wherein the components are 0, 3, comma 1. We will come up with the image of the vector with components 2, 3, and negative 2 as the vector with components 7, comma 7, 0. In example number 5, we will have a linear transformation that is defined by a matrix. Define the function T which maps um, R square into R cube as we have here T which is the transformation of the vector B equivalent to A, that's the matrix A times the vector B, which is equivalent to, so we will have a 3 by 2 matrix with the elements 3, 0, 2, 1, negative 1 times negative 2, and a vector with size 2 by 1. So we expect the product of A times B to be a column vector whose size is a 3 by 1 uh, matrix. So the image of the vector B is a um, three-component vector. A, find the image of B when V is equivalent to a vector whose components are 2 and negative 1. B, show that T is a linear transformation from R squared into R cubed. So all we have to do is 
uh, to find the image of B is simply supply the vector in the expression A times B and perform our matrix multiplication so that the, rest, the image of the vector V with components to negative 1 is a 3-component vector whose components are 6, 3, and 0. So begin by observing that T maps a vector in R square to a vector in R cube to show that T is a linear transformation for any vectors U and V in R square, the distributive property of matrix multiplication over addition produces T, which is a transformation of the sum of vectors U and V, to be equivalent to A multiplied to the sum of the vectors U plus V. Since, again, we have the operation P of V is equivalent to A times V, and since our vector is a sum of vectors, then we will have A times V, and since V is a sum of vectors, we then apply the distributive property so that we will have AU plus AV, and we know that AU is simply the image of the vector U, and A times V is the image of the vector V. Since T, which is a transformation of U plus V, is equivalent to the transformation of U plus transformation of V, Similarly, for any vectors, for any vector U in R square and any scalar C, the commutative property of scalar multiplication with matrix multiplication produces P, that's the transformation of the scalar vector CU, is equivalent to A times CU. So again, this is our V. We will have T of V is equivalent to A times V. Since V is a scalar vector, so we simply substitute it here. We have A times um, CU and apply the commutative property of um, scalar multiplication. We will have C times the, um, the quantity A times U. And we know that A times U is simply the image of the vector U under the transformation T. So since the two properties are satisfied, we were able to verify that the function T is a linear transformation. 